This is Jerry Hash. I'm an orthopedic manual physical therapist. Uh, treat soft tissue and joints in the whole body. And uh, I work at Hash Institute in Aurora, Colorado. And the website is heshinstitute.com, spelled H E S like Sam, C H Institute. Uh, James had a partial total knee on the left side initially had a partial total knee on, sorry, partial knee replacement on the right, and then it went to a total knee replacement on the right. Um, has some differences in motion, has, has a little slight yield and hyperextension, um, has full flexion. I can get his heel to a finger width from his buttock, but the right knee has a, has a greater, greater restriction. It's, it's a, the width of my of my hand index to thumb. Um, he has a little bit more extension range on the right hip and the patella on the on the left leg is quite free. The patella in the in the right knee is constricted. There's very little medial lateral play. Very little inferior glide and this one is quite free with inferior glide. The um, the right femur appears posterior. The left femur, I can take up the slack, and then I can spring it. And there's a little bit of forward spring and a recoil. On this side, I can't really take up the slack. And I'm pushing with the same amount of force as I did on the other side, and now I'm trying to spring it and there's no give. So it behaves as though the right femur is stuck in posterior glide. Now the tibia has good posterior rotation. And I'm trying an anterior glide of the tibia. The, the tibia does glide anteriorly, okay? But again, the femur does not glide posteriorly. And all, I'm trying to test anterior glide of the femur and I don't get that movement either. Uh, the technique that I like uh, for treating this is to weave my forearm underneath the femur and then rest clasp the other femur and I block tibia and then I just lift up with my forearm, okay? So go ahead and let this knee straighten out as much as it can and now just relax, okay? And I'm going to do this for three minutes, okay? So I'll shut the camera off now. And again, I'm pushing firmly on the tibia and lifting up firmly with my forearm and I just maintain that pressure for three to five minutes. So we'll try it for three minutes and I'll come back and film the response.